Our eyes on me is everything with baseball. Alright, so anytime we're training kids or I'm doing a lesson, I want to see how you guys throw naturally, feel naturally, and have natural footwork. And then we get into the teaching element of the of the uh, the clinic, alright? So what we're gonna do, I want everybody to get in a good athletic position, just like this, hips slightly out, chest slightly forward, heels slightly off the ground. Right. I want everybody to place their glove in the center of your body right here. This is our safe place. Everybody get in that position. Nice and easy. From there, I want everybody just to break their hands like this. Break their hands, thumbs down. Do not lose posture. Very good. Look in that direction over there. We're just getting right here and just kind of break our hands nice and easy. Maintaining posture. This is our safe place. Center of our body. Right. Anytime we're feeling the ground ball, we want to bring it to center. If I'm fielding a backhand, I want to bring it to center. If I'm fielding a forehand, I want to bring it back to that safe place. Does that make sense? All right, now everybody again, I want everybody to get in this position right here. It's a tight B position. Coach, if you can help, make sure they're in the tight B position. Tight B position. So tight B position is this. Nice tight B right here. But then you're, you're actually going to throw a punch. You're going to get in this position right here. Again, we're going to maintain athletic posture. My hips are still out. And get in this position. Everybody look at first base. I'll get this line right here. Look at first base. Good. A little bit more tight B right here. Tight B right here. Ball should be. Where's the ball? Ball should be in, the, in your hand. Give him a ball over here. Tight B. Lower half. Front elbows in front. Tight B position. Everybody should be looking in that direction. Right here. Tight B position. Right here. Right here. Okay. Very good. Relax, relax. Eyes on me. Everybody assume that position. Everybody go like this. Does that hurt? No. How many games do Major League Ball players play, Chris? 162 games in 182 days, Major League infielders. Their arms never hurt because they throw the right way. Right? You guys are all infielders. I think we have one outfielder here. All infielders. Pretend that you're in a pool of water and the water's up to your waist. When we're fielding the ground ball, we never want the ball to splash into the water. We don't want to have a long arm action. Okay, our goal as an infielder, whether we're second base, shortstop, or third, is to field the ball cleanly and get it out as quickly and as efficiently as we can and get the ball to first base with good pace. Does that make sense? So when we're in this tight B position, everybody assume that position right here, looking at that position over there, tight B position. We are still in our legs. All right, now I want everybody to feel this. We're gonna keep our front elbow in front of our shoulder. Everybody assume this position right here. And I want you guys to turn your back hip in a little bit. Turn your back hip in just a little bit. Go, turn, the other way, the other way. Feel that, all right? Keep your arm here, feel that twist, right? What we're creating there is we're creating stretch. We're creating lower half rotational energy. And that's going to create that stretch. It's going to create that back lay and band. Okay, when we throw, I can tell you when I was watching you kids throw a moment ago, a lot of you kids had early leg. You guys were throwing like this. Everybody get on their left leg like this. Try to throw. It's hard to do, right? Nothing on your throw. Everybody get on their right leg. Very. Try to throw. You have a lot more force on that throw, correct? So when we're throwing a baseball, we're not doing this. Early leg lift, boom, and throwing. We have nothing on our throat, we're gonna spike the ball. So you're gonna hear coaches say in this clinic, stay in your legs, stay in your legs when we throw, okay? So we're gonna stay in our legs when we throw. When we throw the ball, what kind of spin do we want? 12, six spin, 12, six spin. So when you're having a catch with your dad, or a teammate, and you see that ball spin kind of one seven or this way, that ball is going to run, it's going to sink. Right, why is it a big deal? It may not be a big deal now, but when you guys get older, right, how many of you guys want to play college baseball? How many of you guys want to play professional baseball? Yeah, everybody should raise your hand. Right, in order to play professional baseball, you have to make this play right here, or college baseball, this throw, to first base in 4.2 seconds. From the time the ball is hit to the time the first base and catches the ball. If you want to play professional baseball, you have to make the same throw in 3.9 seconds. Right? So it's all about maximizing efficiency. Learning how to throw, learning how to sequence your lower half of your body to make good throws. Alright. So again, everybody get in the center position right here. Okay. When I say go, we're going to shuffle our feet until I say stop through that lane. 
and then we're gonna keep our hands at the center of our body. So all we're gonna do is like this, shuffle, 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 shuffle. Can we do that? Yes. Yeah. Are you ready? Go. Shuffle, 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 oh, shuffle, oh, shuffle. Oh, oh. Everybody walk back about as fast as you can go. Let's be a little quick. Let's go. Keep your hands in the center of your body. Hands remain center. Are you ready? Eyes over there. When I say go, move our feet. You ready? Go. Move. Much better. Maybe a C plus right now. Maybe a C plus. Let's move it back. We have to be. Right, let's go, guys. Yeah. On the move. Let's go. We have to move our quick, fast net. Keep your eyes, your head quiet. We're going to maintain posture. We're not going to go up. Down. We're going to maintain posture and keep our hands in the center of our body. Eyes are going to be locked into that direction over there. Keep your hands, keep your hands together right here. Nice and relaxed. Nice and relaxed. Good posture, good posture. All right, not so tight. You ready? Go, move. Very good. Come to move it back. That's not bad. We're up to a B right now. B. Next thing we're going to do when I say go. We're gonna assume this position right here. When I, I did it this way, you guys can watch. When I say go, we're gonna kick our right leg to our left leg and we're gonna go right to power. This position right here, and then we're gonna stand. When I say go, we're gonna go again, stand in that position. Can we do that? Yes. Wow. No shot, you guys see this on the first Good one. Good posture here, guys. Good posture. You ready? Go. Hold. Just one shuffle. Bring it back, bring it back. This is all I wanna say, listen up. When I say go, your right ankle is going to kick your left ankle, and when it lands, you're going to get into that power position. Front elbows in front of the shoulder. When I get into this, my front elbow is not going to leak out. I'm going to get in that tight knee position. Let's do it again. You ready? Ball in the center. Everybody relax. Eyes are over there. Ready? Go! Oh, what the heck is going on over there? Let's do it again. Move fast. We have to be perfect. You ready? Stay in that position, right? We want a tight V position. Center access. Front elbow in front of the shoulder. Tight V. Right? Good, everybody back. Listen up. We need this elbow. This is what's gonna create the whip. This elbow right here. If we go up like this, we're gonna lead with our elbow. We're not gonna create whip. One, you're gonna have arm problems. All right, and two, you're gonna push the ball. So we're in this position, my hands are a little bit below my elbow because I have to create that whip. Let's do it one more time. Here you go. You ready? Athletic position. Go. Let's go. That's better. Everybody back. Next one we're going to do, same drill. We're going to transition into two shuffles. Four-step pattern. A four-step pattern is two shuffles. So now we're going to do, we're going to go one, two, Power. Notice my hands stay in the center of my body. Here we go. Two shuffles of power. Ready? Go. Power. Good. Stay in that position. Pull up. Oh, this is good. Oh, this is perfect right here. Stay, stay center. Stay center. Center axis. Let's go one more time. Ready? Two shuffles on my go. Relax those hands. Good posture. Go. One. Two. That's very good. We're going to get back on the line and we're going to throw to our coaches again. Coach.